Hey guys, what is up? I have finally finished painting my C-3PO today and we're gonna jump into some footage and I'm gonna explain some processes that I did. So let's get to it. Some new products in this build uh, to achieve what I wanted to achieve. This is the Spastix Ultimate Black Backer to my Spastix Silver uh, Chrome. And once we got the spastic chrome down, I tried a couple different I tried a couple different varnishes over the chrome, and it turns out the spastics actually makes a chrome ultimate clear coat. Uh, it's the aerosol for mirror chrome. I tried that out. I did not particularly have good luck with that, so I am going to continue to stick with my. Uh, my Montana varnish gloss spray that I've always used and uh, this is just me testing the different parts of it. The new candy gold from Spastix is what I used. It's a it's a really thin gold color. Now I'm spraying this over the silver and you can't really tell in the video simply because of the lighting but it really is what it's where the magic happened. I'm very impressed with this stuff. I don't know that it's actually perfect color for C-3PO, but using a candy color is extremely thin, so you build up your your coverages on it, your, your coats on it, until you get the desired yellow gold that you're looking for. Now with C-3PO, he does have a little bit of a chrome yellow to him. I went back and did a second coat on these test pieces that I had, and I have to say that I oversprayed them. They came out way more yellow. I had to dial my gun in a little bit on this one. This is why I do test pieces first, just to make sure that my gun is working correctly. And what I used was a Central Pneumatic Professional Adjustable Mini Detail Spray Gun from Harbor Freight. I think I spent $14 on it. Once I dialed in the spray gun, I moved over to all of these small parts and just simply sprayed them first. I figure if I'm going to mess something up, that's the first place I should mess up because I can always reprint them, refinish them a lot quicker than the full helmet. All right, now it is time to start the helmet. This was quite nerve wracking. I am using the Spastix Candy Gold. The uh, order number on that is 15200. I'm spraying it over the silver and I have to say as I'm spraying this on, being a candy gold, it is extremely thin paint. You have to spray multiple coats on it. I took my time. I made sure that I didn't overspray an area to make it too gold because it does happen pretty quick. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us today. And I, I can't say enough about the Spastics uh, candy gold. It actually was a really easy medium to work with. Uh, just real quick, here are a couple of my test pieces. You can see some of them are a little more gold than than others based off of the helmet here. So I knew doing my test pieces, I knew when to stop early and make sure that I got more or less the achieved silver gold that I was looking for. We appreciate you joining us today and make sure that you hit that like button for us and make sure that you subscribe and please leave a comment in the comment sections. We always like to hear from you. And if you have any questions or anything, we're happy to answer them. So we will see you in the next video.